Hello everyone, it's Sid here and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing a series where I'm drawing some pirates. So without further ado, let's get started. These pirates are all people that I know in my real life. So the first one which you'll be seeing on screen right now is me actually. Me as a pirate. And then the other ones are my friends. Because we all did this Peter Pan play together at my school and we were all cast as pirates. So we were like Captain Hook's team of pirates, I guess. But this is like a fan story that I have in my mind where I'm the captain of the pirates, actually, not Captain Hook. And the rest of my friends are just my pirate crew. So since I'm the captain, I am holding a sword. I tried to make all the pirates have a prop of some kind. So like, I have a sword, one of them has a spyglass, and then one of them has a map. But, yeah. I had the same outfit that I was wearing in the actual play when we performed it at school. I had this nice black outfit and then it had some red accents on it. And I did have this nice hat. I was the only one besides Captain Hook who had a hat on though. Everyone else had like these cool pirate scarves. But we all had these like sashes around our waist and these nice big pirate boots of course. So yeah. And I've been trying really hard to do new hairstyles, if y'all have noticed. So there's a certain way that I do hairstyles. I have this app on my phone called Bitmoji, and you can make an emoji of yourself or of someone else if you want to. And there's lots of different hairstyle options, because Apple does have a like built-in thing similar to that that everyone has. But if you download the Bitmoji app, they have lots more options. And the options are a lot more detailed. So I look at those in order to draw the hair. Because those also have like the places where the highlights go and stuff. So I can look at that and then see where to put highlights. And then have nice, beautiful, luscious hair. And I did the mouth a certain way to sort of look like a vampire. So I guess I'm a vampire pirate captain. But I do think... She's very cute and aesthetic. So, that is me as the pirate captain of the pirate crew. Then the next pirate that I drew was one of my friends who was playing the role of Smee. And it was kind of interesting because in Peter Pan, especially the cartoon version, Smee is Captain Hook's second in command, but he is like, sort of shorter and stubbier than all the other pirates are which is interesting because my friend in real life has more of an average body shape and size so yeah it was kind of interesting that they chose him to play that role but Smee is kind of more quiet in the movie and I do think that my friend is more quiet than some other people are even though he is a very good actor so here he is, and in the movie, Smee has this, like, white and blue striped shirt. But I just drew him with this blue shirt because this is what he was wearing in the play that we did at school. And I gave him a spyglass because he would be the type to be, like, standing up in the crow's nest looking out over the water and then trying to see if he could spot land. So, yeah. Even though I am the captain now, instead of Captain Hook, Smee, or my friend right here, is still my second-in-command. And he would be in charge of making sure that everyone else is in line while I steer the ship onwards to the land. And then my third pirate drawing for this video is my friend who, in the play, she was actually a lost boy or a lost girl. A member of Peter Pan's team who was on like the opposite side of the battle but I asked her via text message I was like hey I'm gonna be doing a pirate series where I'm drawing all of us as pirates and post it onto YouTube would you like to be in it and she was like sure so I decided to draw her as a pirate but then I was thinking a lot about her backstory and how I could make her a lost boy or lost girl but still like a pirate at the same time. So I was thinking about maybe if our pirate team was out sailing around and we wanted to know where the treasure was, 
but a village on the inside of the island was the only place that had the map of where the treasure was. So we raided the village at nighttime when they were all asleep and we captured my friend right here who had the map with her so that we could use the map to find the treasure. And then I guess we just kept her on board and we were originally going to like torture her or execute her or make her walk the plank and fall into the water with all the sharks so she could get eaten alive. But we decided not to do that and to allow her to become a member of our pirate team. But I really do like her design because it is very detailed. Her design was not like this during the play. She was a bit more simple, but I decided to combine a few elements of a different Lost Boy with her. So like the scarf that she's wearing and then the bear ears, which are very, very cute. And then the map was one of my favorite details because I'm not really good at drawing maps. Like I posted a reel where it was like, my map when I'm trying versus my map when I'm not trying and then this is the one where I'm not trying because I just kind of had fun with this one but it turned out really really well I think and you can see all of the details and how it looks so like old and ancient but fun fact this world that's depicted in the map is actually my fantasy world so of course my characters start off in one world but then they travel across the sea to another world. So it's just a little reference to that and that's pretty cool. But anyways, I hope you had a good time watching this video and that you enjoyed it. And if you did, please make sure to like and subscribe so that you can stay tuned for more content because I do post content very, very regularly and frequently. And if you do subscribe, you will stay tuned and you will never miss a single upload. And if you would not like to get notified, because I do understand notifications are very annoying sometimes, then you can easily turn the notifications off with just a click of a button. And then they will be silent and they will not disturb you. But if you enjoyed this video in particular, stay tuned because I will be doing another pirate video next time. Because I do have six pirates who did the play, including me, and I only drew three of them in this video. So in the next video, I will be drawing three more pirates, and then I'll be showing them all together. So that will be a fun one to watch if you would like to. And anyways, I hope that you have a great rest of your day and rest of your summer, and I will see you later. Always remember that I love you, and goodbye!